Hello citizens, welcome to our new video. Today we are doing BHRT missions, but with a peculiar ship. And you know what it is. It is 400i. Let us see, can this ship do uh, VHRT missions? I never tried this, so I don't know what to expect from this ship. This ship is normally just for cruising and exploring and other kind of missions that not involve too much fighting. But could we do good VHRT missions with it? Let us find out now. Okay, so we are ready to rock. Everything is on. For the firepower, we have two size 4 canyons. And we will see, is that enough to win us a fight? So, let's launch. Oh, what's happening? some kind of bug with launching but we are up okay all power to shields set up our speed and let's visit our first target no we will not go to yella okay move away from the port Ulsar which, by the way, if you didn't know, is going to be replaced in the new patch. So, goodbye, portals are. All right, let's go. I'm very sad that the portals are will be removed because it was it is one of the, my favorite ports in universe, and I'm always living there. So, I hope the new one is good. Okay, as always, we are closing in on our targets. So it seems my ship was already in a fight, even if I never brought it to a fight. How is it even possible? Maybe I got someone else's ship and not my own. Hmm, imagine today you have insurance and you claim your car and it comes even more damaged than before. Interesting stuff. Interesting. So we put a little bit of power to the forward shields. We will fill our missiles. And let's see what we can do with this huge beast. The acceleration is amazing. Now we have to slow down. That's the first target. Valkyrie. Or is it the other one? Uh, one of these Valkyries. I bet this one. For some reason I cannot target it. Why cannot I use my missiles on this target? Never mind, let's lose our canyons. Okay, we are firing. Whew. That was close. But they can use their missiles. Okay, that was absorbed. Let's continue. It's a little bit sluggish. But we are doing something. The shields are down. Luckily the war carry is very slow too. So maybe we can finish this mission. But we will see. I have to stay on the target all the time. Yes. We are big. Nice. Done. Now let's escape. Missiles on our tail. Let's use this OEM point to escape. We are running away. Nice. First target is down. Let's see what we can do on our next target. The shields are very strong. FR-86 size 3 shields. They can absorb a lot of damage. 
if we had enough pow firepower we could fight the ships of size like Hammerhead which we do in our Corsair but the Corsair is a completely different beast it has six guns and four of them are size 5 and two are size 4 so it's completely another level of firepower but this ship has speed yes it's a bit sluggish when we target but we can fight jump all right now the greatest enemy is asteroids we have to fly to this asteroid field and be very careful not to destroy our ship okay we will try size 2 now beautiful as always okay limit our speed what is our target this one oh it's a reclaimer oh this won't be easy damn it but if I position it right maybe I could take it down we will see about that and still it won't fire my missiles Let's try only one missile. Fire. I don't know what the thing is with the missiles. Are they bugged or something? But I cannot use my missiles. But they can. We will choke on nothing. We refuse to get killed by these peasants. Up, 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 up. Okay, we are making some damage. The problem is you do not see where the shots are landing because of the front of the yacht. But we are seems to be doing some kind of damage. Oh, don't shoot at me, shoot at him. He's your enemy too. Okay. The good thing is we have a lot of ammo, but our shield is going down rapidly from all the fire. Will we manage to do this? Okay, Kramer is cutting his shield down. We just have to stay on his tails. But now our shields are still holding up up out on his tail and fire a little bit more yes cursing won't help just a bit more and the shield is down completely then we will do some damage yes finally okay let's re refill and fire Come on, come on, man, explode. Our shield is getting down. And the reclaimer is also red. Size 4s are making damage. Nice! Nice, nice. Power to shield. And let's make our run for. Here is one asteroid. Oh man, this will be tough. Uh, they are everywhere around me. Escaped. Nice. We have some little bit damage on our ship, but that's negligible. Only the top of the ship is damaged. Alright, let's go on the next target. And the last target for today is on Daymar. 
Look at this beauty in Quantum Drive. Wow. Amazing details. If you want to see this ship and my first thoughts on it, I will link this somewhere up here. Well, the missiles are not working, so this is even more better scenario to see if this ship really can handle VHRT missions. But because even without missiles, this ship is formidable if you are ready and willing to go into a risk which actually makes this game even interesting because you now have to have some skill to win against these targets okay we will go a little bit outside because the sun is directly in our eyesight or maybe i could do just this no still we have to refill our engines or our boost okay that's enough now we can turn around and go directly on Rakuda chopper oh this is a sight to see maybe we can go a little bit faster why not Shields are at maximum. All the missiles are ready. Let's see if we can use them now. Limit our speed. This is our target. Another reclaimer. I don't know why we cannot use our missiles, but still we cannot. But nevertheless, I'll fire. This looks amazing. That's a something. I have to be careful not to hit the reclaimer. Oh. For some reason, a little bit better handling I found it in atmosphere than in space. Or maybe the reclaimer is more sluggish in atmosphere. Okay, refuel, refuel. We have to go out of the side to reclaim her. Okay, 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 okay. Fire, fire. The shields are getting down. Maybe to rebalance our shield to back. Because at the front we do not have a lot of attacks from the claimer. Refuel. Fire. And then power to shields. Fire. Continue damaging. And we have to be careful not to get hit by the higher power of the reclaimer because it's a remarkably strong size 4 also okay the reclaimer will be destroyed soon I reckon hopefully before I do get shot FR-86 are still holding. Nothing against your reclaimer, just a mission. Come on, man. Nice! Okay, let's retreat and refill our shield. And then try to kill all of the rest. Because this ship is very fast as it's escaping. I don't think they can follow me. Nice. Look at the speed of this. In and out. Alright. Let's turn around. 
Look at this, 16, 17 kilometers away from them. This is a very easy to escape ship. So, as you can see, doing VHRT mission with this ship is very much possible and not so hard. So, if you pledge for this beautiful ship only because of look, looks, don't worry, you can do some bounty missions too with it. Not effectively as with the other ships, but still, alright? One of, one of these ships is on our tail. We'll have to turn around. Can we use the Mar? No, still not. Fire anyway. Crazy, don't go into us. It's amazing to see the shield on this ship. They are hurtling on me. Nice! Wow! Love it! Handling is a little bit better than a course here okay it's nice when they are shooting each other wait a second it's very far from us just a little bit closer, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Now turn around. Oh, someone hit him with a missile. I think the other ship. This one is holding very long. This size 3 shield is soaking up all the damage, allowing me to continue firing on this ship and staying on top of it, even if I have much less weapons. Boom! And the last ship for today will be this Vanguard Warden. Hours later. This was hard. Taking all the enemies, but it's also fun. So, if you are having this ship as a pledge, which I don't think a lot of people will do, but you can do some bounty missions with this ship. And in a style. That is the most important thing. The ship doesn't look damaged too much. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about this ship. Have you tried it with the uh, bounty missions and is it good enough to do this kind of fights? For me personally, I think you can do some uh, VHRT missions, but ERT missions are too much for this ship. And also, if the real player is involved, run away because your ship is have a strong shields and it's very fast and able to escape. So this makes this ship one of the best cruisers in this game and also exploration ships. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe. Also share with your friends and until next video, have fun citizens.